Laferd says Dwayne's a little too little. It's not the size of the ship, it's the motion in the ocean. So she had a blind date with a buff book writer. The name of my book is called The Art of Mac. Mm, yeah. That's smooth. <laughs> After Dwayne writes his own love story. I had my butt on him and I felt it and I was like, ooh, oh, man. Hello. Well, he probably was thinking about me anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Will they be adding another chapter? You are the farthest thing from his mind. <laughs> or have a change of heart. What? Welcome to Change of Heart. This is a show where couples who've reached a crossroads in their relationship voluntarily go on one blind date with someone new. <laughs> now, we're going to meet their dates later, but first, let's meet our couple. They started dating in Chicago and ran up huge phone bills when he moved to L.A. So she moved here four months ago to be closer to him, and now they're next-door neighbors. <laughs> yes, please welcome Dwayne Perry and Lafern Watkins. <laughs> now... You guys are here today because your relationship isn't as neighborly as it should be, I guess. Uh, Duane, I will start with you. Tell us uh, something Lafern's done for you that no one else has ever done. Well, I recently had my 35th birthday, and I've never had a birthday party in my life. And uh, Lafern, Lafern threw me a surprise birthday party, and even though she had no money, Aww. she bought me a CD player. See that? Oh. <laughs> Very sweet. Yeah, I, and so Laferne, sweet. why do you like being in a relationship with Dwayne? Dwayne's the most romantic guy I've ever dated. I mean, every week he brings me flowers. Stargazer is my favorite. Every week writes me love poems and notes and leaves them all over the house. Well, that's all very nice. But Laferne, is there any uh, occasion where you wish Dwayne maybe wasn't so giving? In the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? What's that about? Well, um, you know, sometimes um, he uh, tries to be overly pleasing, you know, how um, to the point of pain. Well, oh. <laughs> um, you know, some men are like, uh, well, uh, I have to give you more uh -huh. and more and more. And I'm like, OK, stop now. Enough already. <laughs> Enough already. Get well, you know, you got to, you know, please your spouse first. Not so much. If, you, if I take good care of you, but if I you're going to take good care you. of me. So that's what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you get it back? I mean, you lavish a lot of attention on her. Does she give it back to you? Um, no. Um, I'm way more into Laferne than she's into me. Um, and, you know, I don't think she really appreciates it. Uh, for example, I, I was at work, and all day long, I could, all I could do was think of Laferne. I just wanted to see her face. Mm -hmm. I get home, I'm like, Laferne, I, I, I couldn't wait to get home to see your face. And she said, why do you torture yourself? So, Laferne, let me ask you about his looks. Are you happy with the way he dresses and the way he looks? Well, he's not buff enough for me. Oh, you're like going to be a little beefier? Well, yeah, usually I date men that are like 6'4", 210 Yeah, pounds, but you chose and... me, so obviously there's something about me that you like, you know, so. <laughs> you know, and it's not the size of the ship, it's the motion in the ocean. Dwayne, who wears the pants in this relationship? Well, I, I would say Laferne wears the pants, but I, I let her make the decisions. Well, because that's because you don't want to make I'm an accommodating decisions. type of gentleman. You know, I'd say You don't defer. make any decisions. If I say, let's go to the But Olympics. when I do make the decisions, you tend to get upset about the decisions I make. Well, you so, and then... You can't win. I can't win for losing. Mm. Rocking a hard place. You know, I, that's where I am. Now, Laferne, you have some complaints about him. Does he try to improve himself, though? Yes, he, like, reads self-help books. You know, he's, like, addicted to them. And it's like he, like, has read, like, 50 or 60 self-help books. And, like, uh, every week he's a different person. All right, like, Dwayne, okay. let's talk about your dates. Who pays for the dates? Um... I try to pay for the dates. However, Laferne has this way of slipping money in my pocket or in my checkbook. Well, and it's kind of emasculating. I mean, I, I well, want hey, a, a I'm spouse. I don't want my mother. You know, your uh -huh. mother would give you money look, if you pay for I'm it. an independent woman. You know, if I want to pay for something, I want to pay for something. You, you should be happy that a what? woman wants to pay for something. <laughs> yeah. But it would make him happy, I guess, once in a while. Laferne, though, tell us why this was a good time you thought to come on the show and date some other people. Well, I just moved here. I haven't really dated... Well, I don't know the dating scene in L.A. I wanted to experience that and uh, see what's out here. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we hooked you up, and we'll see what comes of it. Uh, it seems that Dwayne and Laferne obviously have some differences to address. Now, when we come back, we're going to meet the people that they actually dated and find out if they're going to stay together or have a change of heart. So stay here. <laughs> Dwayne 
Dwayne and Lafern. Now, Lafern says Dwayne needs to work out more in the gym and less in the bedroom. Now, she also complained that he's addicted to self-help books, so he matched her up with a man who doesn't need to read a book on pleasing women because he actually wrote one. Please welcome author Tariq Nasheed. Hi, Tariq. Welcome. And you know Laferne? Tariq, tell us what's the uh, title of your book. Um, the name of my book is called The Art of Mackin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The Art of Mackin. The Art of Mackin. It's a book for the guys. It shows the guys how to um, deal with women better, how to please women, how to satisfy women. And um, I think Dwayne needs to hurry up and go to the bookstore and get my book. <laughs> <laughs> and Dwayne, do you like reading books? Do you think you might learn something from this one? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> Mackin is not quite what I do, um, you know. Some people have to mac, and other people's get macked. Okay. <laughs> All right, LaFerne, so since you were going out with an expert, what was the expert's opening line for your date? Well, we met at a bar, and he said, wow, I'm so gl glad you're not tore up. <laughs> mm, that's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm so glad you're not ugly, you know. Yeah, well, that doesn't sound smooth to you, Dwayne. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I usually open with, uh, you know, at least, you know, your eyes aren't crossed. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that? At least I'm not ugly. I mean, that's good, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Laferne, was Tariq buff enough? You said you like bigger guys? Oh, yeah. He stood up and I was like, yum, yum. <laughs> And then, but it was kind of disappointing because he was wearing a sweater, so, you know, I had to check out his goods later, you know, mm -hmm. see how much there was. Mm -hmm. But um, I couldn't stop staring at him with his sexy LL Cool J lips. Oh. And Tariq, were you staring a lot at Laferne, too? I was too? staring a lot at her. I was staring at those beautiful teeth and those beautiful legs. I really wanted to get to those legs. Feel what I'm saying? Them legs kicking. Uh -huh. And what was she wearing? She was wearing this mini, 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 mini skirt. <laughs> Real and, uh, tight. Yeah, she had on these high heel shoes with it. And mm -hmm. they were so high, we were walking out of the restaurant and there was a steep hill. And I had to kind of hold on to mm -hmm. it so she wouldn't fall down the hill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to make the Oh, yeah, so I, I can see what was going on all up in here. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? You okay, Dwayne? <clears throat> what? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh -huh. uh, I, I was, you know, meditating for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, Laferne. <laughs> My friend, when you came down off that hill, did he let go of you? No, he continued to hold me all the way to the car. And he hasn't and yet. Lafern, <laughs> <laughs> besides the touching that was going on, did he show you that he was attracted to you other ways? Uh, after the bar, we went to uh, his studio where he um, was doing a CD and he wanted to download some music. He played the keyboard for me and he sung a love song, a Johnny Gill love oh. song to me. A little Johnny Gill action. And for he put you. my name in it. Oh. That was nice. Yes, yes, it was nice. And and from that time, he, well, we never stopped touching each other. Uh, now, Tariq, <laughs> Tariq, if if I was reading your book, is that one of the tips that's in there? Singing to women. Yeah, a lot of people um really can't sing or whatever, but you can um throw that in there. You could sing or rap to a woman. Some of us write poetry. Some of us bring flowers. Some of us, you know, dream of the person day and night. You know, oh. so. Now, see, that's why he needs my book, because, see, stuff like that really don't work. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, so, that don't work? <laughs> I mean, that don't work? I mean, you either want Kool-Aid or caviar. You know, right. you gotta really consent. Now, here's the thing, Tariq. Dwayne says he lets uh, Laferne be the boss, but still complains. Mm -hmm, What's mm -hmm. his twist on that? No, no, I, would, I, I let everything do the, the date. Um, I, I chose the, the movie. I chose the bar. I mean, I paid movie. for everything. She, she um, let me choose everything. Movie. I, I like to kind of take control and just make sure movie. everything is going smooth. <laughs> Yeah. Movie? <laughs> That's a romantic date? Go to the movie? Now, Tariq, you say you're an expert. Could you tell if Laferne was into you or not? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can tell. I mean, she was staring at me, and I was staring at her, too. And then we're walking down the street, and um, she had her arm around me from the back, and her arm kept getting lower and lower and lower, and she ended up with a handful of ass eventually. <laughs> feel with his arm around you while you guys were walking down the street? Oh, it was great. I mean, I felt so secure. I mean, like with Dwayne, I'm always looking behind me, you know, is someone going to snatch my purse? But with Tariq, it was like, well, I ain't got to worry about a thing. Exactly. I mean, what you going to do great. with Urkel protecting you? you <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
Uh, Tariq, was that enough, though? Was that enough, just having your arm around her? Was that no, enough I, for you? No, that wasn't enough for me. I, I really wanted to, to get with them legs, man. That, that's, I, was, you know, I was peeping out those legs, man, for uh, real. Uh, yeah. And so, what? Uh, I mean, does your book say what to do to get those legs? <laughs> yeah, it do. I talk about uh, how to satisfy your agenda. And uh, I talk about being spontaneous. As a matter of fact, when we're at the movies, um, I just got an epiphanal moment to grab her legs and put them on my legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, Laverne, you were enjoying all this attention you were getting? Yeah, yes, um, except uh, during the movie, um, he kind of got paged like 50 times. He left oh, the movies yeah. about two times and came back and apologized, but I don't know if I'll be able to get all of his attention. He does work 24 7. So, so he's a busy guy. He well, is. Maybe I could so take do time you have out. time to Mac? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too busy to answer a baby. <laughs> Well, Fern, I have to ask you this, though. Did Tariq practice the art of macking on you, you know? Was mm, he... At the end of the date, yeah. he took me and he held me in his arms. Like, we went to see Mighty Joe Young, and, like, the ape did, and it's like, he lifted me up, and Dwayne's never lifted me up. I mean, it's... He <laughs> He lifted me up, and it felt so good. I make so a float. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and Lafern, describe the, describe the kiss for us. Yes, yes, he did what kiss me. kiss? Me. He, he oh, yeah. kissed me. It was like a sugar-coated brownie, you know? Oh, nice. With his lips, I know he could do wonders in the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> uh, will Tariq's love song and that sugar-coated kiss be enough to give Laferne a change of heart? We're going to find out later. But before we do that, we're going to meet the woman that Dwayne dated. We'll hear all about their date next, so stay here. Laferne's date with Tariq, and now we're going to meet the woman that Dwayne dated. Dwayne told us that Laferne doesn't like to be the boss, uh, doesn't like when he pays, and sometimes doesn't even like him. <laughs> so we set him up with a woman who always appreciates her man. Please welcome Tam Layton. Yeah. Hi, Tam. How you doing? Laferne, let me start with you. What do you think Dwayne appreciated most about Tam? Well, uh, mm, 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 um, maybe her lipstick. <laughs> okay. Tam, who was the boss on this date? Uh, actually, I was. You were? Yeah, I put the date together. We went to Santa Monica to hang out and play video games and everything. Just because it's the kid in me. I told him this over the phone, so he agreed to everything. All right. So you want to go out and play a little bit? Yeah, we went out and played at Santa Monica. I gave her some uh, some Tootsie Rolls because she said uh -huh. I was the kid in her, so I let her. And I guess play. the difference, though, Tam, is that you enjoyed that as opposed to like with Laferne, who had a problem with that. I didn't have no problem. He, you know, I don't mind being in charge. <laughs> okay. So, Dwayne, when you meet her, did, did you think she had it going on or what? Oh, yeah. yeah. She got out of the car, gave her a big hug, and, you know, she's very attractive. And she had the one thing that I really liked, the Jennifer Lopez butt. <laughs> Tam, how did Dwayne greet you when you guys got together? Well, actually, I got out the car. He came out. He gave me this big roll of Tixie Roll Pops, and I couldn't help but give him this big hug because that was so sweet. He was like, this is for the kid in you. And I was like, okay. Oh, gave him a nice hug. Sweet. You know, he's buff enough for me. You know, he has no problem with his body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Tam, earlier we heard Laferne complaining about uh, Dwayne's techniques in the bedroom. Any thoughts on that subject? Well, Stanima is a good thing, mm. you know. <laughs> You don't want him to finish too quick, you know, but on the way to the pier, we were talking about sex and everything, and I told oh, him, you know, really? a woman oh, really likes to have her man day. be a little oh, that's freaky. Really nice. And I looked, and I think he has I think he has freak in him. Oh. <laughs> and I, I don't know how you figure it out. All right, Dwayne, so there you are at the pier. What happened there? Um, when we went to the pier, we uh, walked out and saw a beautiful sunset, which was very cool and very kind of hey, romantic. I've always wanted and to then do that with you. we I went to the arcade to and played some video you. games, and she kicked my butt in pinball. And then I played another little game. If and you wanted to go play pinball, I could go play pinball. Yeah. And I gave it to her. I should. Yeah. Yeah. We had a good time. That's the dinosaur I found in the bathroom. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, she, Man, why yeah, did you bring her over to my place anyway? And, you know, I knew she was in the house because I could smell her uh, cheap perfume. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. It smelled good, so. Well, whatever. Oh, let's not go All I cheap. know is it was all in the house. And there was... 
Tam, let me ask you a question. Laferne had a little trouble walking at one point in her date. Did you at any point? Well, he had a little problem for a minute. He bumped into me. I think he just wanted to get close. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a little problem bumping because I was paying attention to what he was saying because he was really saying some interesting things. And so I bumped into him. Probably from Then the after a while, I just kind of just grabbed him and said, you know, we can do this together. We kind of helped each other and walked down the pier. Now, Tam, while you guys were out together, did he ever bring up Laferne and talk about her? Not really. I asked him who suggested coming on the show, and he said she did. And I said, and he basically said, well, I'm glad she did now, so. Oh. He was having a good time No, with me. well, he probably was thinking about me anyway, so it really doesn't matter, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't think so. You are the farthest thing from this <laughs> Dwayne, yes. uh, we heard that Laferne was in a pretty short, short miniskirt on her day. What was Tam dressed like? Um, well, uh, Tam had on a very tight skirt that kept she had to kept pulling down because it kept <laughs> kind of riding up. I think it was so tight that um, I don't think she had only ton of underwear on. Oh. Uh, she didn't have any underwear. <laughs> right, so, Dwayne, where did you guys go then after the pier? Um, well, we had to go change, uh, so we went back to my uh, my place to oh. change, and Tam changed inside in Laferne's house. I have a guest house in the back of where Laferne stays, so I Tam see. went there and changed. And uh, then the next day, as already been mentioned, uh, Laferne could smell uh, Tam's yeah. perfume. Yeah, mm -hmm. neat. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was first class, guy. Yeah, that yes. was a little off the beat, don't you think, Dwayne? Not a good idea. Well, you know, I, I guess I just wasn't really thinking about it. You know, I mean, I was having such a good time. Well, that's okay, because just... I wasn't thinking about you either, right? Oh. <laughs> now, Dwayne, Tam said she was the boss of the date, sort of, and she liked that. Yeah. Uh, did she pay also? Uh, no, I paid for everything, and she didn't, you know, say anything about that. Didn't try to slip any money in my pocket. <laughs> As a matter of fact, she went ahead and, and, and made plans. She booked, made the dinner reservations, which was very cool. We just got there. Everything was fine. Dinner was great. She picked the dessert, and she even fed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Tam, did you ever get a chance to bring out the freak in Dwayne? Oh, most definitely on the dance floor. We had our boogie on. We were dancing to the song that says, you, you're dancing too close. I feel a little poke coming through <laughs> on you. <laughs> my butt on him and I felt it and I was like, ooh. Oh, man. hello. At least I know. Oh, you are. Well, Fern, does he dance like that with you? No, he's never taken me dancing, okay? He could dance with me at my place or his place, but, you know, he's never taken me out to go dancing because, oh, I, I really don't like dance clubs. Uh, let's just stay here. You know what? That's... I had no problem. So, Dwayne, you're out there getting a little bit freaky. <laughs> you were enjoying yourself? Yeah, um, uh, we had a very good time. Uh, I, I gave uh, Tam some flowers at the end of the date to thank her for the wonderful date. Uh, she brought out a little something to me that I didn't know was there, and it was, it was really fun. I had yeah. a great time. Okay. Yeah. And according to Tam, it was more than a little something. Uh, will Dwayne and Laferne have a change of heart? That's what we're going to find out, because during the break, they're going to make that decision. We'll find out what it is when we come back, so stay here. Moment of truth because during the break, Laferne and Dwayne each made a final decision about the future of their relationship, and there's no turning back now. Will they stay together or have they had a change of heart? Now, you guys came on the show because it was at first a long distance relationship, and Laferne, you were new here and you wanted to see what else was out here in LA and see yes. what was uh, uh, maybe, you know, other possibilities. Dwayne, we're going to start with you though, with your decision first. You said you wanted uh, somebody that was going to let you pay in the relationship, somebody that wouldn't mind being the boss and somebody that was going to be into you as much as you are into them. So there you are with Tam. You know, she lets you pay for the date. Uh, she was the boss. She set the things up. You like that little Jennifer Lopez backside thing going on <laughs> down there at the pier. And she bought that freak out on, you on the dance floor even. So it is your decision, Dwayne. What do you say? Um, Tam did bring out a side of me that I didn't know was there, and I love it. Mm. Um, but I also love Laferne, so I'm going to stay together. <laughs> Things didn't work out for you there. All right, Laferne, it's your turn now. Now, you said you wanted to date somebody who was a little bit physically bigger, you know, a little more buff. Yes. Uh, somebody not addicted to self help books. Yes. And somebody was going to give you pleasure and not pain in the bedroom. Mm. So, there you are with Tariq. Now, this guy's a writer. Uh, he's got the physique. You were touchy feely all night long. Mm -hmm. He sang you some music. And you got intimate at the movie theater. It sounded like a pretty sweet date. But Dwayne does want to stay together. What do you say? Well, uh, Tariq is everything I dreamed of, I mean, as far as physique, and he's very intellectual, wonderful. Uh, but in his next book, he, have to, he has to write about the one who got away. I want to stay oh. together. And Laferne, I guess by coming on the show, you got a little 
sample of what else is out there, but you want to stay with Dwayne so that hopefully the two of you are better off for it. Way to go, guys. That is our show for today. Thanks to Tariq and Tam, and good luck to Dwayne and Laferne. We'll see you next time right here on Change of Heart.